Hi, today I want to talk about my backyard that I renovate during pandemic 2020. I really enjoy the backyard so I did some modification. Let's talk about it. Okay, as you can see here, there's my backyard that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, let me show you the video right now. Uh, on the left hand side is the waterfall that I built a couple years ago, but I just moved it to the left side. It used to be on the right side, then it was in the middle, then now it's on the left hand side. Now the reason I did that, as you can see um, where I'm sitting right now, it's opposite to the waterfall and that's great perspective. So being able to see that from that angle, it's uh, pretty neat. Sight and sound, that's what I like about waterfall. The sound of, of the waterfall just, um, you know, cal give that calmness uh, in the backyard. Right in the middle, of course, is my uh, garden gazebo. Now that was made out of a um, different parts of the bench that I was about to throw away. So I decided to put it together and made it into a garden gazebo. It looks quite nice. It's a very, it's a square piece basically, and um, a rectangular square piece and it looks pretty good the only issue i have with it is a little bit uh, light in color so uh, in the future i'm going to do is i have to paint it darker make it uh, the same color as a, a vine so this summer when you see the vine growing it will cover the garden gazebo as well as the waterfall and it will look really nice so bridging the uh, garden gazebo as you can see on the other side the right hand side is the uh, fire pit or the uh, fireplace that I have right there where I'm sitting right in front of it. Um, this is where I burn my wood and just enjoying the evening or night fire, uh, drinking my coffee or beer or wine and just um, feel a bit of relaxed um, having that uh, warmth that's coming towards me uh, and the, the smell and the sight and yeah the warmthness of that fire at night. Now right behind me of course is the uh, um, vegetable gardens that I have. It's about 120 square feet. I'm gonna go through each of the component with you right now. Okay so let's look at the first component which is my vegetable garden. This is about 120 square feet and um, I pretty much can grow uh, tomato, zucchini, and uh, cucumber. Uh, in this garden and um, we're gonna have a lot of harvest here my daughter already started to germinate the plants so we're gonna have it ready in a couple weeks I just need to buy topsoil for this garden because uh, I don't think the soil that I have is uh, fertile enough I need to fill it up with uh, topsoil it's gonna cost me um, probably close to 100 bucks to do that um, hopefully you know I can get it uh, as quickly as possible because the weather is getting warmer um, I think by May we're going to have a pretty warm summer, who knows. Right now in April it's a little bit cold and chilly. I wouldn't uh, plant my uh, vegetable right now. It's, it's still almost zero degrees at night, so n not a good idea. Okay, so the second component, of course, is the fire pit or the fireplace that I have. So I'm sitting, as you can see the bench there, sitting and, uh, you know, as I burn the wood, um, the warmthness of that fire comes directly towards me. Um, and then, you know, I'll be sitting there for a couple of hours with my drinks and just enjoying uh, that fire. Now, I noticed that there's a baseball net. My son is also utilizing our backyard space as well, and that's fine. I, I, I want everybody, uh, the household family, to enjoy the backyard as well. So we put up a net for him and he can practice his baseball. Uh, so that's great. And pretty much every single space in my backyard is being used to lie uh, wisely. Okay, and the last piece of course is my favorite is the waterfall. Now this is um, you know, a previous video that I did. I had to chop down my, um, my uh, pine bush right there and uh, it was dying. So I had two of them, I had to cut it all down. Initially I thought it was um, some kind of fungus that was killing it, it was turning brown, right? But then when I was cutting it through, uh, guess what? It wasn't a uh, fungus at all. It was actually ants. I could not believe it. I'm going to make another video on that um, uh, pretty soon. And I'm going to show you what the ant did. It actually burrowed through uh, the core of the um, trunk and uh, killing off my uh, pine bush right there. 
And so it was amazing. I, I'm not sure if that's, I, I never heard of an ant, you know, eating through, you know, the trunk of a tree or a bush. That's kind of surprising to me. Maybe it was, you know, I have to look at it under a microscope and see if it's actually a termite, but it looked like an ant to me. So I'll, I'll make a video on that. And then those people who are familiar with insects and all that, maybe could tell me what is, uh, you know what type of uh, species is this these type of ants that's able to you know barrel through a pine bush so that'd be interesting anyway so yeah those are three components to my garden the waterfall the um, the fire pit and as well as the uh, vegetable garden now um, I also put in the um, the uh, garden gazebo that br uh, bridges between the waterfall to the five pit it just looks really nice uh, to see this bridge being between the two uh, components fire and water okay uh, now I'll have to paint the um, the uh, garden gazebo make it a little bit darker and when there's a uh, the vine leaves it will cover the garden gazebo as well as the waterfall and I think it's gonna look really really nice so that's my backyard and hopefully you have a project of your own when you're uh, trying to you know create a space for your backyard definitely make it functional you know grow some vegetables uh, have a place where you can sit all day if, if that's pretty much what the backyard is for um, especially when you're locked down right you want to be able to not be inside too much but being outside and enjoy that breathe that's uh, the smell of fire the smell of oh, the sound of a uh, waterfall nothing is um, taken away from you and your backyard is, f is meant for that so, yes, thank you for watching, educate2.com.